Hello, I'm Conrad Swift with the Cardano Convo Podcast, and today we're going to be providing you with a quick tutorial on the Wing Riders Dex testnet. Now, this is powered by Vacuum Labs, who are the people who created Adalite as well as NuFi. And of course, to get to the Wing Riders testnet, you will have to make a NuFi wallet. So we will be going over how to create a NuFi wallet as well as walking you through some of the functions of the Wing Riders testnet. So this is kind of a first look as well. But before we begin, I want to let you know that there's a like and subscribe button down below. It does really help us out. And if you comment, it'll help with the algorithm. But without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, to get to the Wing Riders testnet, you're going to need to go to wingriders.com. And I will have this link down in the description below. But here you'll be able to see it's a DEX on Cardano. It's powered by Vacuum Labs. So again, they're the people behind the Adalite wallet as well as NuFi. But right now we're wanting to check out the Wing Riders DEX testnet. So here you'll see two ways to get into the testnet. And they both say launch testnet. Just click that. And you'll be taken to make a NuFi wallet. Here you can either restore a wallet if you have one or you can create a new wallet. And we're going to go through the process of creating a wallet. So I'm going to click create new wallet. And again, what's cool is you can connect your Trezor T or Ledger Nano to this NuFi wallet. So again, you'll need to click I agree with terms and conditions and the privacy policy, but we don't have a hardware wallet that we're going to connect. So you'll click no, I don't have a hardware wallet. Once you do that, you'll be asked to name your wallet this is just important in case you make multiple wallets. That way you can differentiate them. But for me, I'm just going to name it example. Click continue. And then here you'll need to put in a password. This is anytime you're going to make any form of transaction with your ADA or with your testnet ADA, you will need to use this password. Some people call it a spending password. So put that in and then you'll have to confirm it. Once you've done that, click continue. And this needs to be kept secret. Don't show it. I'll be showing mine because I'll be deleting this wallet as well. It'll only have testnet ADA on it. So I would recommend not recovering this wallet. Of course, it will be visible. And if you try using this wallet, everyone who sees this video, sees this seed phrase, will be able to get a hold of this wallet. So again, I'm showing mine. You should not show yours. And of course, you shouldn't save this on the computer. You should typically write these words down and they have to be written in order. So for me, because I'm going to be deleting it, I'm just going to be copying it and pasting it over to a document for the next step. But once you've written it down, click I have written it down. And this will be used to recover your wallet in the case that you lose it. And I'll be going a little bit more into detail with regards to this wallet and recovery phrases in just a little bit. But once you've done so, click I have written it down and it'll ask you to verify just a few words that were placed randomly in there. So, for example, my first word is universe. Second word there is slush and the sixth word proof and then horse. Then once you've got that, click confirm. It'll take a moment. But once you've done that, it will say, congratulations, you've got your own wallet. See, done. Your wallet is now ready to be used. It'll explain what you can do, the in-app NFT gallery and DEX. So this is something that we're going to be going into, which is quite nifty. But then just click go to wallet. So now that we're in here, you'll see that NuFi is a proof of stake focused wallet. So you'll see Solana, you'll see Cardano. We're going to be focusing on Cardano. But really quickly, before we get to the Wing Riders DEX testnet, I want to cover some of the functionalities of the NuFi wallet. So of course, you'll be able to send, receive, and there are some features like exchange that are coming soon. So that's something to keep in mind. You'll be able to look at accounts. Um, you can look at your staking. It gives you additional information with regards to this. There will be a staking calculator coming soon. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can look over the protocol overviews. And of course, you can see if you're staking, what percent is staked, things of that nature. Something else is there is a NFT gallery. So there's NFTs on Cardano, there's NFTs on Solana. So if you want to look at your Cardano NFTs on here, you'll be able to, which is really cool. I know a lot of or a lot of wallets are looking towards that. And because NFTs are becoming quite a big thing in the ecosystem, it makes sense that a lot of wallets want to start including that. But 
let's go to settings real quick. And this is where there's something interesting with this wallet. And for some, it's going to be a positive and some it's going to be a negative. Of course, for example, you can change the currency, the name, you can change your password, export the profile and delete the profile. Something that is different here is that normally once you get that 15 word recovery phrase or your seed phrase, you write it down because if you don't, there's no way to get it back. With this wallet though, with NuFi, if you don't have it written down or you lose it, you can get it back. So this can be a positive in the case that you lost your seed phrase, but on a negative, for example, if you leave this open, all someone has to do is click view seed phrase. If they know your password, then they'll just go, okay, I'll type that in. And there they have your seed phrase. So again, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, the seed phrase or recovery phrase on its own is already kind of a double-edged sword. But again, it's up to the individual to decide if this is a positive or a negative. I view it more so as a negative because I like once I've written it down, I keep it somewhere secure and that's it. No one has any ability to get it unless they get a hold of that. So, but again, that's more up to personal preference and that's a unique feature with this wallet. Now let's get to Wing Riders. Now, something that I really like about this Wing Riders testnet is just directly on the welcome screen, it gives you two amazing bits. You get the how to get started with the testnet, which shows you how to get testnet ADA, which of course, down in the description below, I will have a link to our video on how to get testnet ADA, but you'll just need to copy this to your clipboard because this is your wallet address for the testnet. And you can tell it's a testnet ADA address because it has ADDR underscore test. So again, this makes it apparent that it is a ADA testnet address. So you'll want to click the clipboard button right next to it. And of course, um, this testnet faucet will take you right there. You plug that in and you can only ask for testnet ADA about 1000 of it every 24 hours. So that's something to keep in mind. Once you are in here, you'll need to set up collateral. I already have it set up, but once you have testnet ADA, you'll just set that up. And on top of that, if you're wanting to do swaps, you might need another token. And if you just have testnet ADA, you might, it might require other steps in order to get this, but you can just click this mint testnet tokens and we can just see, okay, for our fee of 0 0.189 and some odd testnet ADA, we're able to get some wrapped AVAX, wrapped BNB, wrapped XRP. We're able to see that we get all these tokens so that we can play around with them. It's That's amazing. A lot of platforms don't help you with that step, but this one does. So then what you'll do is type in your password and once it submits the transaction, it may take it just a moment for that to go through and for you to get your tokens, but then you'll have a, all these tokens listed above that you'll be able to play around with. So when that goes through, you'll see transaction successfully submitted. You can view it on the Explorer or you can view it in the app. So it'll take you to the portfolio and show you that you've got these tokens. We'll dismiss that for right now. And the other bit that looks amazing is the fact that what is a DEX? And it goes through a lot of these terminologies because when I started in DEXs, when it was on Ethereum and a lot of people when they're starting with DEXs and if it's on Cardano, there's a lot of terminology that they might not know about. And again, since you're trying to get into decentralized finance, the idea is to make it as easy as possible for people to use. So for example, it explains what is a swap the request deadline, what is slippage, liquidity pools, collateral, oil, ADA, agency fees or agent fees. All of these things are amazing for them to have. So again, kudos to the Wing Riders team for having that. Now, if we're going to jump in, we can see that we can swap. So let's say I want to swap and it shows my balance right here. ADA to maybe I want some wrapped Doge. So if I say, okay, I want to give 100 ADA and I can get 7,053 Doge or wrapped Doge. So Doge that's on the Cardano blockchain. What's interesting is you can see a transaction fee. It tells you how much it is in US dollars since we have that set on our account. And we can see that it is 0 0.17 and some odd ADA. 
But if we click advanced, these were where a lot of the numbers and the terms that we saw before are. So right now I can set the slippage tolerance to whatever percent I want and the deadline. Again, how long do I want this to be good for? And again, we can see swap fees. You can hover over the question marks and it explains a lot of these. And of course, when it comes to DEXs, I'm allowing for a 5% slippage tolerance. So you can see at least I will receive 6,701 wrapped doge for my 100 ADA. But with the estimated being about 7,053. Now, if I set this to be 1%, you'll notice that this is going to be closer to my estimated received. So if I'm okay with it being a little bit different, I can set a higher slip tolerance. But for right now, that's just something to keep in mind. And then once we're going, okay, you know what? I'm good with this. Click submit. We have to plug in our password. And again, we can click more details. We'll get to see when is the deadline? What is the slip or when, what are we okay with for tolerance on the slippage? The transaction fee, swap fee, agent fee, all these, this information again, and you can go to the welcome screen and it'll explain all these concepts. Then just click confirm. And then once it goes through, we will have our wrapped doge and it will be exchanged for the 10 or the 100 ADA for the about 7,000 wrapped doge. So the swapping interface looks nice. I'm glad that it's as simplistic as possible. And I also like that it's in the new Fi wallet. Something I haven't talked too much about yet is I've seen, for example, a lot of wallets that are like, we offer functionality with Project Catalyst. We offer, you can see your NFTs, but a lot of them have connectivity to other DEXs, but they don't have a DEX in the wallet. So they don't have that functionality native in the wallet. And I know there are a couple of people working on this. So we see, obviously, Wing Riders is working with NuFi to have that functionality. And I know that a project by the name of Byron Network is actually working on making a mobile version and then going to have like a Byron DEX that will be integrated into that Cardano wallet for mobile. And for me, that's going to kind of be some of the next steps for a lot of Cardano wallets is why have to sign up for a wallet and then go wherever you want to go to use a DEX when you can bring the DEX to the wallet. So that's just something interesting to see. But we have seen the transaction has successfully been submitted. Again, we can look at it, but that is the swapping functionality. But what if we're wanting to add liquidity? And of course, we can look at the portfolio and see we don't have any liquid positions yet. We haven't supplied any, any assets to any of the pools to provide for liquidity. So let's go to pools and you can see there's a bunch to choose from. What if I want to, I know that I've got, I've got Doge. So let's say I want to create a pool. I can pick ADA and I can set an amount. So let's say 100 and then I can pick any of these assets that I have and I will pick testnet meld. So whenever I put in 100, I have to be able to put in this much testnet meld. So maybe we'll stick with 10 because that gives us enough to have the supply necessary. And again, it looks like these pools are 50-50. So right now, testnet ADA has a significantly higher value than testnet meld. We can go into the advanced options, see what slippage tolerance we want. Maybe I only want to set for a three and I have, of course, the time out there. Once I am ready, what I will do is click submit. Again, you'll just plug it in, plug in your password, and you'll be providing liquidity to the ADA slash testnet meld pool. So again, there's no real world value that you're going to be getting from this. This is a testnet. It will help give you some experience with DEXs if you would like. But again, this is just how you go about adding liquidity to the pool. And I'll actually go through with it. And then we should be able to see our position. It does take a little bit for the transaction to go through. But again, it's really interesting. I can't stress this enough how much it is great to see that all of this is going to be in a wallet. Because again, right now, your options, you're somewhat 
limited. You can go to the Flint wallet, NAMI, CC vault, Typhon wallet. But there, if you get those wallets, you don't have a DEX inside. So again, it's interesting to see that. But now we've seen it go through. Let's say I want to look at my portfolio and you can see active and expired liquidity requests. So you can see I've added some testnet meld and I've added some ADA and you can see it's 12. Um, I did test this out a little bit beforehand, but you can see how much I've got there and then you can reclaim it in about an hour. So that's just something to look at. Again, it's really cool to see all these functionalities. Um, Wing Riders, you're doing a great job with your test net. Again, I did critique, for example, the DEX with regards to ADAX, but because there isn't an order book model, not seeing the candles isn't too big of a deal. I like, again, how it's all in a wallet. I like how simple it is. I like how user-friendly you make the test net. Again, that's excellent. Just going, okay, you need to click this. You need to click the copy, plug it into this site, and then you can get additional tokens in order to make it as easy as possible for people to jump in. Just, it's amazing. But again, that's all I've got here for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you can, click the like and subscribe button down below. It does mean a whole lot. And commenting again does help with the algorithm. But without anything else, again, I'll see you in the next video.